Welcome back guys to another video with the Stonk Dad. I have received a ton of requests to go over the Photopia Options Flow data pl platform with you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. I hopefully will uh, be able to cover most things that you guys are asking about. And if I don't, uh, feel free to reach out to me and uh, leave a couple comments down below if you guys are confused about a couple things. But I have received a ton of requests to go over this platform with you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully I do it pretty well and you guys kind of get the grasp of what to do on this platform, what everything is, and how to work everything. So let's get right into that. Okay, so this is the um, Photopia platform you have here. I might need to move my camera around so I can see it a little bit. <laughs> my camera's right in front of my screen here. Okay, so this is the Photopia platform that you have loaded up. If you are, are subscribed to it, you'll see this pretty much uh, the first screen that you'll see. So we have over here the real-time stream. So what this is, is um, we're going to go over a couple of the basic uh, definitions of what everything is here. So um, what Photopia is right now in its beta version it shows all of the live data all the live flow that comes in pretty much every single second there's always going to be flow coming in uh, whatever ticker it, it may be uh, it'll start coming in once the market is open so since I'm recording this with the market being closed there's not going to be any flow coming up on my screen here um, but once the market is open you'll see that it, it refreshes on its own so let's go through uh, a couple basic definitions of what flow is and kind of the things that are on this platform uh, that we can talk about here and that's on here. Um, so what flow is, it's basically a bunch of unusual contracts that smart money is buying. And that's pretty much all you need to know about what flow is. It's smart money buying contracts up in the equities market. So um, Photopia does a good job filtering out um, certain things that we can mess with up here and we can go through those first off. Um, so let's kind of break this up a little bit and uh, and I can explain what uh, these types of orders are that we see on the screen and then um, some of the filters that we have up here at the top. So there's two different types of orders on uh, inflow in general, um, but in Photopia there's block trades and then there's sweep trades. So block trades are basically um, just private orders. Um, they're, they're not as um, important. I guess I shouldn't say important. They're important, but <laughs> block trades are, uh, they're arranged in a way so it, it is a little bit secretive to the public markets. Um, and they can be done also um, outside of the the public markets as well. So they can be private, um, but they're generally broken up into smaller orders and they can ex be executed on uh, through different brokers as well. So that's just one thing to, to point out that block trades are um, can be broken up into different trades and different brokers, um, but they can also be done in secret instead of the public markets. Now, sweep trades are um, a lot more, I, I pay attention more to those. Let's just say that they're not more important. I shouldn't say that. But let's just say that sweep trades are uh, are the trades that I pay attention to most. So these are much more aggressive than block trades. Um, they can be done on multiple exchanges, which is very, very important. So when a person sets out an order and they want to put forth um, a certain amount of contracts at a certain amount of price. They sometimes they can't all be filled on one uh, exchange, so they go out and fill them on multiple exchanges. So these are much more direction oriented and um, much more uh, a bet placed to be uh, in a certain direction by the buyer. Um, they they can also be sells too, which we're going to be updating this platform uh, as time goes on to be able to see the bid ask spread as well. Um, so pay attention to that when that update comes out. Um, but those are basically the two orders that you'll be seeing on the Flotopia platform, uh, the sweep and then the block trade. There's also a different type of sweep called a golden sweep. Um, but that is, it is the same thing as a, as a sweep trade, but it is a million dollars uh, or more in premium. And I'll go over, I'll start clicking on these filters up here so you guys will be able to see. All right, guys. So that's basically the the rundown of what flow is and what these orders are going to be coming in on this live order, um, this live order book that you have here. 
<clears throat> so um, up here you can see the flow sentiment. It basically just shows you um, how bullish the market is. Uh, I mean, over the past month or two, you guys you guys have noticed how bullish the markets the markets have been. So um, that has a rating of seventy six up here. Um, put to call ratio, put flow, and then call flow. Um, we were pretty much neck and neck um, for the most part of the day today. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then over here on the right side, you see a little bit of a heat map for um, the day, and it's kind of cool. You can zoom in, and you can see all the logos and how much they're up on the day. Uh, and then if you click it, it should take you to the trading view platform. Yep, and it shows you Microsoft, and then you can see uh, the full chart if you do that. Um, so yeah, it has all the sectors um, and just zooming in. It's just basic knowledge that you have here, kind of little cool little toolbox that you have over here. Um, but yeah, that that's that. Um, let's see, should we go over the filters now? I think we should go over the filters now. Okay, so I'm going to go through each one of these filters on Flotopia, and then uh, I'll just give a little brief explanation of what it is. And then uh, we'll be on our merry way, okay? So um, this size lot um, filter, I forgot the word for a minute. This size lot filter that you have here, if you click on it. Oh, I need to verify that I'm human, okay? We'll do that real quick. Thank you, thank you, Photopia. Okay, connect me, please, please, please. Okay. So if we click size lots here, it, you'll see that it changes up the flow a little bit. So what the size lot means, it's 7,500 or seven, yeah, 7,500 contracts or more. Um, from my understanding of what I've seen, <clears throat> it's 7,500 or more contracts. And that kind of just filters out all of the flow um, given that certain period because 7,500 contracts is quite a lot. So you can filter that out. Um, you can see right here on the, under the detail how many contracts there were in, and at what price they got filled. Okay, so let's move over to the weekly. So these three are pretty much the same weekly, three day, and then zero DT. Weekly are just within this week expirations and then three day is three days till expiration and then zero DT is zero days till expiration flow. So if you click on those, you can see um, the expirations here on the left side next to the ticker. So it shows 801, uh, 23 that expired today and then 804, 23 expires on Friday. Um, and then it's pretty much the same thing here. Three day, you'll see that um, it'll show a bunch of um, contracts that expire within three days. And then zero DT, same thing. All that expired today, 801, you'll, you should probably see there. Okay. So those are those three filters. And then if we go on to the sweeps, which probably is going to be my favorite um, filter this sweeps and then golden sweeps here will probably be the best filter that i'm going to be looking at i'm going to be honest i do not look at block trades hardly ever um because there's a lot of there's a lot of flow going on guys just a little bit of a um setback little uh piece of advice here uh not financial advice though uh but there is a lot of flow that goes on every single day so take everything that you see here with a grain of salt obviously um these guys are using a lot of lot of money, a lot of premium, um, but sometimes it doesn't really work out. Don't <laughs> pretty much don't get into a flow trade just thinking that it's going to go perfectly for you if you do follow the smart money. Okay, um, but I can give you guys what I usually do when I look at live flow and um, what I really look for um, to pretty much increase my win rate when I do follow smart money. So this is the sweeps. Um, the sweeps filter here you can see uh sweeps are multiple orders across multiple exchanges and uh yeah um these are pretty good um ones to look at uh because these are much more aggressive again okay and then the golden sweeps sweeps are the really big ones the ones with a million dollars or more in premium now if you get a bunch of golden sweeps with the same expiration with the same strike price and pretty much w within the same time period, you can pretty much guarantee that there's there's a lot of different people buying that same contract, uh, buying that same contract, and that gives you a much more confluence in uh, if you should get into that trade or not, if that makes sense. <laughs> but that's just kind of what I look for. I look for multiple multiple golden sweeps sweeps in general, 
And um, I start looking into that a little bit more and doing a little bit more analysis. Now you're going to see Tesla being pretty much a leader in the pack with premiums because a lot of people put in a lot of money into Tesla. So uh, you can see that this big one here right at market close, this was a big one with $10 million, a thousand contracts. Um, a little bit, this was already in the money, 200 strike for January. So who knows what that person is doing with that. But yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. Um, and a little side note as well with um, ETFs like QQQ and SPY, um, a lot of hedge funds and, and smart money like to hedge their positions with uh, ETFs. So um, a lot of the direction isn't, it can also be direction based, but if there is a lot of flow going to a certain thing with like, uh, say for example, if there's a lot of money going to spy puts and the market pretty much rallies after that, it could be a hedge. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you're looking at uh, ETF flow, a lot of smart money uh, uses that as a hedging indicator for their underlying uh, share, per, their share uh, holdings that they have. All right. So that's Golden Sweeps. Those are my favorite. Um, I'm sure that will be your guys' favorite too. These are very, very important to look at, the Golden Sweeps. Um, so this one is less than 0 0.30, and that is less than 0 0.30 of the contract price. So you can see here down in the details, pretty much all these contracts are less than 0 0.30 in uh per contract. So that means um, each of these contracts are less than $30 per contract. So that's that filter. And then these two are pretty much the same 100K and then plus 500K. That's 100K in premium spent and then 500K in premium spent. So if we click on that, you'll be able to see on the right hand side that everything's going to be above 100K. Um, these ones are going to be pretty good to, to really look at as well um, because those are higher in premium. So if you get anything less than 100K, I wouldn't really look at it um, because there's so much flow that going in. But a million dollars and above are also very, very good to look at. And that's why I like looking at the golden sweeps because those are a million dollars and above. But yeah, if I click on that 500K, you'll see the same thing over here on the right side. It'll be $500,000 or above. And that's pretty much it for filters, guys. And then you can just hit clear here, and that will pretty much wipe everything to default uh, to the live flow, and that will show everything. And then um, we just added, not too long ago, the mute and unmute feature because it was pretty annoying. <laughs> I was listening to it earlier, and it was going off every single time an order went through. Just pretty much every second there was a sound. So we um, threw in that little feature there for unmute and mute which is great. <laughs> all right, so that's all the filters for live flow. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention this. You can filter um, per by strike price, or sorry, not by strike price, by symbol. So if you put, punch in the ticker, so I had NVIDIA already pulled up, you can just click on NVIDIA and it will filter out all of the flow and just put in NVIDIA flow for you. As you can see, there was tons of NVIDIA flow today. Um, okay, so that's all the live flow and then um, you can, you can also just exit out of that if you just want it back to regular. So that's that. Um, then, now we can talk about dark pool prints a little bit. So this is something I'm not too familiar with, but I have used dark pool um, support and resistance zones a lot with SPY. So what um, dark pool prints are, it's pretty much the same thing as live flow, um, but with just the underlying stock. So um, Real-time options flow is pretty much all the orders for options, and then dark pull prints are for um, the uh, underlying stock. So these are uh, institutions, and um, it could be retail as well, but it's mostly institutional people um, buying up shares or selling shares at a certain uh, spot price, which is the price of the underlying. Um, so yeah, these can be used pretty well. So if there's a bunch of orders uh, at a certain price with a certain amount of premium, that can be a good area of support or resistance. So I do use those those levels a lot for SPY, um, but this pretty much just has all the orders, <coughs> excuse me, it has, it has all the orders um, coming out in real time for you. So it's just an order book of all, all, the, uh, all the equities right here. And eventually, I'm pretty sure that we'll start to be able to filter these out. So you'll be able to see them per ticker. Um, I'll really like to see that as well. And then, um, yeah, 
that's pretty much it for Darkpool Prince. We are in the beta, guys, so uh, bear with us. And if you guys have suggestions for uh, tools and if you see bugs or anything like that, please let us know. Um, yeah, guys, we're, it's a work in progress. We're super excited for the future of Flotopia. Uh, and we're glad to have you guys with us. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, subscribe, please. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys. And yeah, that was a video by me, the Stonk Dad. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.